All right, so uh, the window regulator broke on our 2008 Volkswagen Bug convertible. Now the convertible definitely has a different window regulator than the coupe. Um, so there's plenty of videos on how to take the door apart. I've already done that. Um, it seems like the convertibles are much harder to find the window regulator. There's all kinds out there for like 30 to 60 bucks where it's the, the, the metal frames, but those are, they don't fit the convertible. I had to return one. The convertibles, you can see down here, they've got like that bracket that has a screw on the bottom and it's like pretty heavy. The repair kit that I got, they were a lot shorter and they weren't shaped this way. Uh, but they do make the wires. So I got a wire repair kit and it will not go on over the rollers. It's like an inch too short. So after researching on the internet, uh, it appears that there's different size pulleys depending on your year, I guess. And I happen to have the taller ones that are not made for this wire. And I guess the wire is, this is the only one that's made. So a few people said they trim the they trim the wire to get it to fit. So I just did that, and I'll show you what I did. It's actually pretty easy. If you look at it, it's just a spiral piece of steel here. And what I did was I took my Dremel and I just cut it this way. Right? You just cut through it. And what happens is as you cut through each one, these little, they'll fall away like little rings. And you got to be careful, obviously, not to hit the wire. But if you put it in a vise or something, you know, the wire kind of falls down to the bottom. And you can carefully cut through these. And as you cut them, they'll just start to move away. And I did about a half an inch on each side. So I'm going to go and give it a shot. See if it fits. There we go. I got it. Yeah. So I trimmed. You can see the, the plastic inner sheathing is out a little. There we go. So I trimmed about. What I did was I marked the metal tube, the metal liner, right where the, um, the end cap goes, right? So I put a mark there. And on the other side, I put a mark there. And that's where I cut up to. So you take about this much off of each side and then it's still a little bit tight but you want it tight obviously right and I'm on the upper right over here so what I did was I rolled this all the way up and I pulled this as tight as I could get it and with my other hand I had the wire around here and then I just had to pull this while pushing this up like squeezing and I was able to pull it and get it snapped into there. So there we go. Let's see. There we go. Not bad. I'll have to adjust these a little bit. I was trying everything. I was fighting with these things. There's, um, there's bolts. Let's see if you can see them. This bolt right here on both sides. And basically what it does is it allows this piece to move back and forth to kind of change where the window clamp fit, uh, sits. It's accessible through the bottom. So I guess the idea is you should be able to adjust it when the car, when it's in the car through under the door. And it uh, kind of centers the window. And I fussed with these because I had no idea why my wire wouldn't go on. But that's what I did, and hopefully this thing will this thing will hold up. But yeah, there it is. Thanks, everybody.